Well, hello, hello, everybody. Happy New Year for 2021. I am releasing this video on the eve of New Year's Day, and I'm so proud to be the bringer of the prompts for January 2021 for the Take 5 Art Challenge. My name is Amira, and welcome to my channel. So I am going to hop into this challenge straight away. And as we go, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're doing. So the Take 5 Art is a collection or a collaboration of 12 beautiful girls from around the world. We bring you prompts, five wonderful prompts every month. And uh, we do art and we encourage you to do art and to be inspired and to um, Find your zone and, and, and a little bit of self-care and be able to express yourself. So welcome for the month of January 2021. And these are my prompts. So I am starting off with a background here. I am adding a little bit of gesso through a stencil. And I soon discover that because my stencil is dirty from the last time I used it and I didn't clean it, um, it sort of defeated the purpose of what I was doing. So my intention was to do a resist gesso background, but as you can see here, my um, the words came up as black because I'd used a black paint through that stencil in my previous art adventure play. So I went off and I cleaned my stencil, which you should always clean your stencil because it's good to be organized. Cleaned my stencil with a baby wipe and then I repeated the thing that I was doing before. <laughs> and I'm leaving my mistakes because, you know, you learn from mistakes. It's not a bad thing to make mistakes. And I um, realized that the sponge had also picked up the black paint before. So as I continued down that page, once again, uh, the words or the stencil words that I was trying to stencil on the page, which were meant to be white in my mind, still came up dark. So I thought, hmm, maybe it's meant to be that that side of the page uh, has to have the words showing. So I decided to just go with it. And you know what, you guys, at the end, when I show you the photos, you are not going to notice any of these words. So I don't even know why I was stressing. A uh, good point to learn here is do not stress, just play. So, but just because I like to make sure that, you know, I, I, I can perfect a technique and I know how to do it, I did it again here. I used a different sponge and I used the gesso through a clean stencil. And as it turned out, it turned out beautiful. So as you see, um, the intention here is to resist the color that I'm um, adding soon um, and just give myself some white space. I think that the my problem or what I want to aim for in my art from now on is to give myself white space. And I thought by adding gesso resist, it would give me white space. And no, that's not the case. And you know why, and I will tell you why. It's because my, I didn't pre-gesso my pages. So um, lesson learned, pre-gesso your pages if you want to do the gesso resist method. So no worries. I'm going to go ahead now and apply color into my background. And so what I'm doing is the smoosh technique. Now, I chose this technique because I don't want any lines and I want an organic flow of colors. I don't want harsh lines in my background. And I usually get harsh lines when I um, just use my paintbrush or um, any, um, uh, you know, the sponge daubers. I usually get circle or square marks. So I wanted the smoosh technique, which is adding paint on a uh, plasticky or a rubbery or like a non-porous surface, adding water and then adding that to the page. Now, my one of my prompts was the complementary colors. And so my complementary colors are, um, so a play on red and green on the color wheel, red and green are opposite. And that's what I meant by complementary colors. Um, and I shifted the red scale over just a tad to the pink and I used a lighter shade of green, so it wasn't so like Christmassy. <laughs> so I used like a really beautiful pale shade um, of green, and the colors that I used are um, the from the Dina Wakely magenta, which is the pink, and the other one was like a folk art, a color of green, 
Um, I'll put the colors on the screen if you're interested. So coming in again now with the leaf green color, uh, I'm adding or smooshing it down with this, this is just a plastic leaf that I've got that I put paper items in and I'm just kind of smooshing it around and um, I see that it's like the green shade is lovely and um, quite pale so it kind of blends with the pink in some areas which is nice but I did add a little bit more just to pronounce that green and that complementary colors and make them um, you know work work for each other so uh, as I as it dries I am just using a wet paintbrush and uh, loosening the edges blending the edges so that it, it has like a natural flow and a natural drying and there's no harsh lines so now you see a light uh, gesso resist in the background we soon lose the light gesso resist um, and and that's okay. Um, I'll play with that technique and perfect it a little bit later. So now uh, we come to this beautiful stamp which I ordered and received earlier and never had a chance to use it yet. This is Lonely Girl Trio Stamp. I love this trio stamp by Dina Wakely. Love, 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 love owning it. I've used it in the collage papers and now I have the stamp and I'll be able to stamp this girl forevermore and just have her in my collection. I love her and the little, the young girl in the step, in the set, just love it. I am stamping them up with archival ink and just on normal cart cartridge paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fussy cut around the image and glue it into the art journal. So coming now to prompt number three, and that is to choose a focal image, which is uh, your representation for next year. I chose this beautiful one of a girl bravely going on a bridge. I am now attempting to connect my phone to my sprocket. Love my HP sprocket. And uh, yeah, definitely love this for art journaling. I don't have to run off to the store to get anything. It's just locate my image, send it to my HP sprocket and it prints straight away and I can bang it straight into my art journal and we are cooking with gas. So now I'm just playing around with the placement. Lonely Girl is sort of looking inwards towards the center of the book so she has to stay on that left hand side and I'm going to make it so that she is looking at the girl on the bridge. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding some Mod Podge. This is my stick down medium. Um, you add the medium to the actual image and then you should also be adding the medium to the, you know, where the image is sitting on on the page just so that you have a really good fit. Uh, the These pages, this is the Gina Wakely 6x6 white journal. This journal is um, very thick, beautiful cotton papers, but de definitely very thick. It needs to be primed and you just need a little bit of more of what you're using, so a little bit more glue here. In my mind, what I, the image I had in my mind is you've got this, you know, woman who is very protective, very, uh, I don't want to say insecure, but she's just very protective and very unsure of where she's going in the world. And she just wants to be, and she's got this feeling like, I want to be something greater, greater than what I've got at the moment. So what she's going to do is she is going to tap into her inner child. Remember how your inner child used to play and explore and be, and ask all the questions and go to all the places and look and, and, and fall and get up again and fall and get up again and just really, really adventurous and just learning all there is to learn without any fear of failure or fear of judgment or fear of anything really. So this is how this is how I'm looking towards the future. I'm always just a little bit worried about what people will say or <clears throat> or what will happen if I don't make it and you know what for 2021 I am busting through those limiting beliefs. I am going to be really in tune with what my inner child or what my inner goals are and I am going to just just go for it you know like no more no more holding back no more BS no more I can't it's all I can and it's all a uh, learning forwards um, and uh, you know I'm looking forward to 2021 it's going to be a great year so here is lonely girl who is not really lonely girl anymore she is going to go on this path 
and follow her inner child to see where 2021 is going to take her. And all I did here was I extended the path onto the art journal page on the left hand side. And I love how, you know, it came out like this, but you know, when you start, when you start a path, it's so wide, you can go anywhere you like. And it's really, it's really um, represented here as how wide that page is. But then as you go along your journey, your journey narrows towards a certain Thing and you get really specific about what you want to do and that just so exciting for me I really love that I have lots of great ideas but I do want to narrow towards one amazing idea I will share with you what my plans for 2021 are in another video but at the moment I am just loving how this is expressing exactly how I feel so prompt number three was to bring in a second layer using the same colors that I originally used, but using a different medium. So I am reaching for, uh, these are the Stabilo Woodies, um, and I'm just reaching for that pink and yellow scheme as well. I do add, I do go back and use actual paints because I feel at times that the page is a little bit empty and you will see where I will add the paints, but I'm always going to go for that uh, pink and green scheme to add layer upon layer to make that background and that whole art journal page layout look really detailed and really rich and vibrant. Next up, I was looking at the at the path there and it felt like it was a little bit just, uh, you know, not so detailed. So I bring in my brick stencil and I'm just putting some of the Stabilo Woody, which also is water soluble, which is why I love them. And just making a little bit of a brick road and I'm really happy with how that looks. And the next thing I wanted to do was just add a little bit of uh, gesso um, and add a little bit of white space back into the layout. So I go ahead and put a little bit of gesso through one of these stencils. This is a Dina Wakely arrow stencil. And after that, I felt like I needed to frame the layout just a little bit. I'm reaching for my Tim Holtz cross stencil and I'm just adding a little bit of a cross border there. And I totally love how adding a border just really frames your layouts. So why don't you give that a go if you're not doing that at the moment. And the last prompt is your word for 2021. And my word is journey. I think it's so appropriate. I am about to go on a big journey in my life and I'm so excited about it. I'm, um, I'm excited about it. I'm not scared, um, not anxious, just really excited. Uh, I've got the true grit to do it. I know it's going to be big. I know it's going to be busy. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to a huge change in just everything. I hope to change everything where we live, where I work, um, the people I hang out with. It's just going to be an amazing, amazing year. 2021 is the big one for uh, me and my family. So I'm looking through some of these stickers here and I love some of these words. So it says journey and so the adventure begins. It kind of really makes it feel like it's real and uh, that just fills me with so much excitement. Uh, the second little sticker that I put here is went off bravely and I put it just underneath the little girl there and it's just so perfect. Like she is, off she goes. She's just gonna go for it. She's gonna go for it, no fear. And uh, that's exactly how I'm feeling. Um, I'm really changing my mindset and adopting that positive psychology. And uh, I'm not gonna let anything hold me back to what I wanna do. So she went off bravely and um, yeah, and so will I. I'm coming in with my uh, Stabilo All Pencil and I am just putting black outline around the words and around Lonely Girl and just it defines everything. I'm making sure I'm going in there with my pencil, a little bit of water, and just blending in the edges. And I love how it looks. So next I'm coming in with a little bit of red paint now, just adding that probably third layer and just using the same colors. I wanted a pop of pink um, just to be a little bit more bold. And I loved this sort of flourish of butterflies as the adventure goes on. I didn't want to make it too bold, so I kind of quite like how bright they are. Uh, I kind of, 
I kind of like how light they are and sort of faded, but I do love the pop of extra pink against the really light pink of the background. And I'm just bringing in a little bit of the darker green now. I wanted to add just more pops of uh, light, uh, bolder, bolder green. Um, and you can just see that I'm adding in areas where the background just looked a little bit like uh, empty. I'm just adding a little bit of marks um, through stencil here. I love this. This is a tribal stencil from Kayser Craft. And I'm using black paint just to fill in some of the gaps in the background. I kind of like how it looks. It sort of looks like the way has a lot of distractions in it. There's lots of things going on. Um, but the path is is there. Like follow the yellow brick road. My goodness. <laughs> I didn't see that while I was making it, but I see it now as I'm doing the voiceover. So a little bit of Amira and Oz. Uh, and I'm just putting some yellow splatter because every artist needs some white splatter. Putting in a little bit of splatter now because every artist needs some white splatter. Uh, and just cleaning up my page and pretty much I am done. I come back to uh, just a little, another word that I saw from uh, just from the side there. I said she had a feeling and it all started from a feeling and a thought in my head and then I just went for it. So I changed the words above, which I don't know. I'm not sure what those words, I remember Dina told us once what the word was. Sometimes I think it's curse. Sometimes I think it's nurse. And I sometimes think it might be purpose. I'm not sure what it is now. I've told myself so many possibilities. I don't know what the real one is. So maybe if you guys know what the original word on Lonely Girl was in Dina's art journal, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know it so that I have the correct facts. And pretty much this is me uh, finishing my art layout. Thank you so much for joining me. I absolutely cannot wait to see what the other girls do. If you decide to join us, check us out on Instagram using the hashtag Take5Art. Tag us if you make your own art layout using our prompts. We so would love to see what you've made. We love to know that we've inspired and we love to see what other people do because they inspire us. So thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Happy 2021. I hope 2021 is an amazing year for you and that you push that reset button and no matter what, come back to your core and who you are and I hope you realize just how amazing you are and how strong you are and how how much you have inside you to do what you need to do. You know what you need to do. You have all the answers inside you. I hope you know that. I hope you find the strength and the courage to do what you need to do in your life for you first so that you can do it for other people and those you love second. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.